Only to Haynes, no runs on the board. Freitas now to Simmons. Well, it's a good stroke, uh, not a great delivery. The point he was making about De Freitas, again, it was short. He does err on the short side. And Simmons was very, very quick onto that. His favourite shot. Cracking that square on the offside for four. There's certainly a change in uh, Lewis today. So far, I hasten to add, he may uh, get back to charging in a bit more, but this is more relaxed and uh, he's making the ball move a bit off the seam bowling accurately oh that's a good delivery Desmond Haynes left or Simmons left that alone just a little too late yes beautiful line that went through the gate in fact Simmons but you see one of the things that Simmons does he does get his front foot a long way down that pitch Well, waiting for the sun, perhaps. We've none yet, but it's a good forecast, and also for the weekend. I don't think uh, Desmond Haynes was too unwise to go back there, because Ram Cash has already proved his point on a couple of occasions in the covers this year. Yes, just you can see this little bit of uh, keenness to get off the mark. But uh, certainly Desmond Haynes uh, could have been in great trouble if he'd taken that single because Rampakash is running at the bowler's end as he picked it up. That's four more. And this is the sort of delivery which really the England bowlers can't afford. All of these West Indies batsmen are extremely strong off the back foot and you can't give them any width like this. Three slips there for Haynes, but earlier in the over, two gullies and two slips were posted for Simmons. Oh, what a beautiful delivery. And it swung after it lifted and bounced, and for all the world it looked as though they'd taken the outside edge, but certainly that was the ball of the morning from the England point of view. And this proving the vagaries of the Edgbaston wicket, that really bounced. And another one, now this one's gloved him. That one didn't move, but simply lifted, and Haynes in line, took it on the glove, so two in a row. Through him again, but just look at the lack of bounce here. Just see the height at which this one goes through. There seems to be a cluster of gully fielders there for De Freitas's bowling. And that's why they're there. That's exactly why they're there. Michael Atherton, and he would know that too. Yes, they uh, cracked that hard, did uh, Simmons, but they are deep, those fielders. They're there for the miss it square cut, not for the edge. And he really middled that, but it went straight at him, and uh, well, that's what they're there for. And that's disappointment for the bowlers. They needed that little bit of luck. Well, well, got that. He may have well picked up another wicket, but down it goes. That's a better shot. 
which heard the clunk of bat on ball there. Phil Simmons is the one uh, who's been uh, even more frustrating because every so often he'll uh, get a four off the middle of the bat or off the outside edge. And this is the four off the outside edge. Driving up to extra cover, thick outside edge. That's what happens when uh, you slant just a fraction more towards the leg side. The bowler wants to make the batsman play. Just give him another inch or two towards the pads, and away it goes. Chase for Morris. Fifty up for West Indies, and that is a very good performance. Well, there it is. At long last, one has found the edge and gone to hand. Graham Hick did the job. It was a good delivery. Didn't just move off the seam, but lifted a little as well. Batsman was committed to the stroke. Phil Simmons on his way back there, but uh, I don't think he, he can complain. He's played a very good innings here. And that last delivery, just a little bit of lift, a little bit of bounce, and a really superb slip catch by Graham Hicks. 